where did the idea for the trip come from? While I was actually coming back from the 68 thing on a transatlantic race, um, I sort of had a sort of mad idea that I, <coughs> you can have a bigger boat and you can sail around and do the oceans and so on and so forth, but you can't get into the real nitty gritty and learn from people in various countries. Mm. So the Draskin Lugger, of course, could go down the river, go down the Tigris, could go into little coves, could go into be beached, and we could get, and like in Jakarta, we were visiting villages right up uh, into the, well, not into the heart of uh, sorry, into Sumatra, not right up, of course, into the heart of Sumatra, but certainly inland quite a bit, and meeting them, and so on. And, and it's, that was the idea, right. to be able to do it with a boat that, we th I thought could do it. So I was going to think of building one myself as I built the boat for the 68 single handed transatlantic race, but came across then this track of lugger and I thought absolutely perfect. Mm. Oh, lines, everything seemed right. And, um, and uh, really that's how it came about. I wow. bought the lugger. I bought her in about uh, the autumn mm -hmm. of, si of uh, 68. Worked like hell on it to get it to. Uh, Finish with the you know, the extra locker space, the watertight compartments, the uh, water tanks, and so on, and then started doing some trials with a crew member who was also a cameraman, another chap um, who unfortunately got severely seasick all the time, so he actually backed out himself. Mm. Until then, Dave Derrick came along, and he was the one that. Uh, uh, join me and, and good too. He he, he was fantastic. Mm. You know, he's a hell of a good bloke. Really nice, mm. and and didn't argue. <laughs> Let me vent my wrath on when things went wrong. Yeah, didn't argue. Just very calmly, just got on with things. And he was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, and uh, we did a sort of circumnavigate the Isle of Wight and things like that, and mm. you know, did some passages around just to get used to it all and tune everything up. Yeah, and then uh, of course the Channel Crossing was a good start to really find out things. Yeah, and then uh, onwards from there. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> That's amazing. It's an amazing story. It really genuinely is. That was, uh, uh, well, I would, uh, you know, it's it's once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, there were times during that trip, obviously thought <laughs> this is it, this is the end. Yeah. And we had some, you know, we had one or two very nasty times. What was your hairiest moment? Uh, <clears throat> probably sea-wise, it was. Um, um, the, 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 the um, now Temi wasn't good. I mean, we literally did break the rudder, rudder head, and got swamped, and we had bail like mad to to stop ourselves from sinking, and then the the outboard using as a tiller packed up all that sort of thing. Mm. We thought. This is going to be the end of it. Yeah. And then we had the next really bad blow was um, uh, that entry, the night before the entry into uh, the first port in, in India. Mm -hmm. And that was nasty and we really were bailing hard on that one. <coughs> and also to some extent the trip from the... Um, <coughs> uh, fr fr from uh, Iran or, or the... Um, well, crucial over the states as they were known there, Dubai and so on, along the south coast of Iran and Pakistan to Karachi because a friend of ours was a BOAC pilot and he had flown across that many times and said, you really, there's nothing there. You've right. got a thousand miles nearly of nothing. Wow. Um, and inland you had hundreds of miles of nothing. Mm. So if anything happens to you there, you really are, you've had it. There's yeah. no getting out of it. And so that was always a worry all the way down that line. You just hoped and prayed that you weren't going to get to have a, a serious problem mm. and end up on the shore somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But generally I think we were we were lucky. We were very lucky on some many, many occasions mm. and get us through that. Yeah. And the hairiest moment sort of not actual sailing but anywhere else? Sort of in general? <coughs> Um, places you visited or anything like well, that? Well, we, we had a bit of a problem in one of the villages in Sumatra, which we went up to, that uh, we were trying to get some 
fresh water and some fuel, some petrol, and we suddenly found ourselves surrounded by the locals. We were pushing and jugging and so on and getting really nasty and we sort of very slowly backed off and backed off and backed off into the boat mm. went because that was that wasn't very nice <coughs> don't know why mm. they decided on that but uh, uh, with, with, uh, with the natives that was one of the worst another one was going down the Tigris River um, uh, some sort of policeman thought that we were doing something which is illegal because we still flew the red ensign all the way down the river, right. you know, <laughs> which got up the noses of some of the people uh, in Iraq. And he then uh, got hold of a 303, 303 Enfield rifle and, and started firing towards us wow. with it. But, uh, so we surrendered. <laughs> we went in. And that, that was sorted out after a while, but that was uh, another time where the locals weren't uh, quite so friendly. Yeah. Yeah, but generally, well, they were lovely. I mean. Mm. You know, we really didn't have a problem too much there. Mm. It was more weather uh, related that uh, sort of gave us the biggest worries. Mm. Yeah. 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 Incredible. Good to remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And what did you learn from it? What did you come back and think? This, this, did it change you? Did it? Uh... Oh, yeah, I think it changed both of us in many ways. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. What I learnt, I don't know. Um, Learned how to really be more careful when I get out on the boat, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we go back to before when I did the, the 68 single handed race, that I never had a life jacket, I never had a life line. Right. Uh, and on this boat, we had, I think we had life jackets, but we've never seemed to wear them. But, you know, those sort of things get on your mind. And did I do the right thing here, there, did this, and uh, what could have happened hmm. that um, basically make you. Hopefully, a better sailor. Yeah. Which you can then you carry on with your pleasures of, in sailing, but having learned a lot from what you've done in the past. Yeah. I think. yeah. yeah. Wow. Amazing, amazing adventure. Thank you for that. Now, of course, you can't get me out of a boat now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not retired. I just like to be, you know, out there sailing. I love it. Yeah. Never stop that. Yeah. Fantastic.